out on a hike today, getting ready to talk about emotional manipulation and when you find yourself on the receiving end. And the biggest takeaway I want you to leave with today is that you don't need to feel afraid or in any way helpless when this is happening because the main reason is as soon as you recognize that you've slipped into that mentality, you just gave your power away. You slipped into a victim mentality feeling like you're at the mercy of someone else's request or that they are going to try to make you feel something like guilt. But you know, you know you're totally in charge of how you feel. And you've got this. I know you do. But one of the biggest questions I get while I'm coaching is how do I do this without just cutting off all my communication with a person that I know is trying to make me make me take responsibility for their feelings. So the way I describe this is my rule for hikes when I had my little boys. And we would go out and they would find the most fascinating rocks and sticks and pretty soon their arms would be full of treasures. But the rule was that when, when you couldn't carry any more, it was your responsibility, so you needed to put them down. And my boys would ask me, Mom, can you carry this stick for me? And the way I handled it was I said, I'm going to let you be in charge of your sticks. And I'm going to let you be in charge of your rocks. Okay, so if you notice, I made this about them. I didn't make it about me. I can't carry that for you. I have enough to do. I didn't make it mean anything about them. What, you can't handle this by yourself? I didn't, I, that I didn't add anything to it. All I did was say, I'm going to let you handle that. So you can do the same thing. If you recognize that someone is trying to have you take responsibility for how they're feeling, it's okay whether it's respectfully presented out loud. You know what? I'm going to let you take responsibility for how you're feeling about that. Or just say it to yourself. I'm going to let them take responsibility for that. Either way, you are not a victim. You are totally in control. You can hold your ground. And someone who triggers you in this way is actually an excellent teacher and an excellent opportunity. So I hope that you figure out how to hold your boundaries, how to grow through this, rather than cutting it off out of fear. Barriers are made out of fear and boundaries are made out of love the increase intimacy and connection. So I'm hoping that this helps you. Have a great time. You can do it. You can hold your boundaries. You are tough that way. Right on.